And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to talk about the trailer that was released yesterday um, for Hard Knocks. And it, it, this is the, the off-season Hard Knocks, and the Giants will be featured on that. So, you know, it just showed, um, you know, some clips of Joe Shane, you know, talking about them going after Brian Burns. And, you know, he was on the phone with Saquon. Um, there was some stuff with Daniel Jones and his recovery. So it, that that's kind of what a little snippet of what we're gonna see on this show, and I and you know because it is the Giants and it is my team, I, I you know I want to make sure I try to check it out, and you know I've never been someone that you know has binged Hard Knocks, but I think it's something that I want to try to get into because they're doing a lot this season. I mean, you got the Bears that are on it, you got the Giants on it, and then you got the entire AFC North on it, so. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to do a lot with this. And, you know, that combined with what Netflix is doing with, you know, the quarterback series, and then now you're going to have the wide receiver series. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Um, so, but yeah, there is, um, there's definitely uh, some interesting things that we will see with the Giants being on hard knocks. Um, there's also them trying to trade up to get Drake May, which they failed to do. I think because they were also trying to, I think the, there was a possibility of them trading with the Falcons. Um, but, you know, ultimately the Giants stayed where they were and they, uh, you know, they took Malik neighbors when they saw how um, things were kind of unfolding. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it will be interesting. I, I think that one of the things that I'm, like, interested in is, is the stuff that went on with Saquon because and how that all unfolded because – he said that the Giants, you know, didn't, you know, offer him anything. And he went out and, and he went on and signed with the Eagles. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that's going to be all about. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, the Giants, look, for me, I, I don't think they're going to be a very good team this year. I think there's some things that you could be excited about if you're a Giant fan. I think the d defensive line is something to look forward to and seeing how – you know, Kayvon Thibodeau and Brian Burns and Dexter Lawrence are together. I think that has the potential to be a very good pass rush. I think the defense as a whole can be pretty good. The problem is, are the Giants going to be be able to generate some offense? With Daniel Jones coming back, I mean, I, it's just, I think you're going to see, Drew, I, I think you're going to see all three quarterbacks play throughout the year. I think you're going to see Drew Locke in some games. And I think you're going to see Tommy DeVito. I think you're going to see Tommy Cutlets play. Because I just don't really have faith in Daniel Jones and his durability. You know, I, I, I think if Daniel Jones is healthy, you know, I, I think the Giants are going to win some games. But, like, I just, I, I, I think the Giants have to go in a different direction. And, listen, I, I tried. And after 22, I said, hey, Daniel Jones, maybe he, you know, you give him some weapons and you can protect him better. You know, maybe he can be even better. But last year, it just... It, it, a big problem is the durability factor because he's just been hurt so much. And I, I think there is ability there with him. I mean, there's, again, some throws in the playoff game against the Vikings. I was like, wow, that was a, you know, th throws to the sideline. I mean, it, he, he looked good in that playoff game. Now, the Vikings defense that year was terrible. But still, like, it's like Daniel Jones played good. Played well. You know, and maybe he maybe he is the guy, but it's just after last year, I'm just I I just don't with Daniel Jones, I just don't see. I just don't see where, you know, the Giants going on and, and going on a deep playoff run with this guy. I just don't see it. Now maybe, because the Giants did address the offensive line, they got him another weapon. You know, maybe he goes out there and he you know proves me wrong. I hope he does. I really do. Because there actually is a possibility that I will be in attendance for the Week 1 game against the Vikings. Now, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to guarantee anything, but there's a possibility that I could be there. And, and the main reason for that is because I want to see these uniforms that they're going to be wearing in person. The, those, uh, you know, the, the, fit, the uniforms they wore in the 50s or, what, or whatever, uh, right? It was the 50s? Uh, they look, yeah, they look like soccer jerseys. We, I want to see these jerseys in person when they take on the Vikings. So that's part of the reason why I want to go to this game. Also because 
It's early enough where the weather's not going to be terrible. Now, it could rain, but again, this is way down the line. We're, we're a few months we're, you know, a few months away from that. But there's a possibility I could be at that game. But mainly because of the jerseys. And maybe Daniel Jones goes out there against the Vikings and he throws three touchdowns throws for over 300 yards. I'd be very happy, but I'm not expecting that. Um, but, yeah, there, there are definitely some things that I am interested in when it comes to the Giants and just how, you know, the offseason went. Um, I'm sure that the Darren Waller stuff is going to be covered in some capacity, right? I would imagine. Um you know, there's, there's, and yeah, I'm curious to see how, you know, the NFL draft unfolded with, you know, them not being able to trade up to get Drake May. But that goes to show you, like, they could say that, you know, and we knew this, like, they, they said Daniel Jones was their guy, but, you know, you're trying to get his replacement, and you, you, you weren't able to do that. And that's why Giant fans, including, you know, my friends who are Giant fans, were aggravated because. Yeah, as much as the Tommy DeVito stuff was, you know, it was fun. I I mean, I I never really, I never really bought into it. I never, I never really did. Um, yeah, it was nice to see the Giants be competitive and win those games with, the, you know, the games that they won with him. But, you know, because then he had, you know, especially here where I am, it's like, oh yeah, you know, the Giants, you know, they still got a chance at the, the you know, one of the wild cards. It's like, no, the season's been over. Season was over when they took the field against the Cowboys in Week One. Now this that's just, the season ended when Graham Gano lines up to kick the field goal after the Giants went right down the field and it gets blocked and the Cowboys ran it back for a touchdown. The season was over and it was forty to nothing. The final score ended up being and I and I knew the season was over. I'm like they're not going to be good this year and they and they weren't. Now they did finish the season strong. But is that going to translate to this season? I don't know. I don't think so. I had the Giants going like 7-10. and 10. You know, it's just... And, and this is Brian Dable and Joe Shane's third year. First year we thought, wow, they are ahead of schedule. Now we're expecting them to be very good in 23. They were not. They took a step back. Massive step back. Now we got to see what they do here in year three. And if there is improvement, if the Giants are competitive and maybe they, you know, they win the seven games, but a lot of the games they were in, and you try to get your future quarterback, I mean, I don't know how you're going to get it. If, you know, you're winning seven games, but who knows. It, it's Then, you know what, then you're in a good spot if you're Brian Dable and Joe Shane because, you know, then you showed improvement. But, again, if you take another step back, you won even less games than you did last year. That's a problem. But I, I feel like I do have confidence in them. Like, I feel like they're going to get it done. They're going to get this team turned around. But it's just, I mean, I don't know. We thought Joe Judge was the guy. Was not. I mean, even when Pat Shermer got hired, I didn't really, I don't think I was, like, overjoyed by Pat Shermer. Pat Shermer wasn't the guy either. I think when Dave Gettleman came in as a general manager and was saying, you know, talking about, you know, the offensive lineman, the hog mollies, as he liked to say, you thought, all right, the offensive line is going to get fixed. Although... You know, we got Andrew Thomas. So he was right on Andrew Thomas. But, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been rough, you know, for Giant fans. And they're, I mean, for both New York teams. It's been, you know, they are looking for success. And could this be, be the year? I mean, at least, I think at least for the Jets. There's a better chance for the Jets than it is. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I, I've been higher on the Jets. I think it's better for the Jets this year than it is for the Giants. Because the Jets, with their defense, and, you know, if Aaron Rodgers is healthy and they protect him, I mean, I, I think the Jets are going to be good. The Giants, I, I you know, like I said, I'm expecting seven wins around that. But only time will tell. So, 
um, yeah, that's uh, that. That's basically it for the show for today. Uh, thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Um, do, would like to mention that I was at the uh, you know the, the the Subway Series game last night, and uh, yeah, as a Yankee fan, that was uh, that was that was tough to watch. I did, now they did make it close at the end with the Judge Grand Slam, but yeah, that was uh, that was rough to watch Garrett Cole get pounded like that. That was just that that wasn't fun um so yeah but baseball is in full swing um you know th th that's uh you know the big one that's still going right now um the knicks actually made a big trade yesterday actually it was funny so judge hits the grand slam and then all of a sudden my coworker, because i went with um some people from work uh he's screaming that the knicks got mikhail bridges and that was literally all the talk and you know my phone's blowing up about that so yeah the knicks got a good player so make sure to check out nelson's show to get his thoughts on that i'm pretty sure that's i would think that's what he's going to start with but I, you know we'll see um well the nba draft is also i believe tonight so um you know so i think that might be what he starts out with uh, but those are the two things i would expect him to to talk about um but yeah so you got that the nba draft uh baseball like i said um, the Stanley Cup is over. Uh, the Panthers won that. So, yeah, uh, make sure to check out all the other shows, like I said. And uh, don't worry. Eventually, we are going to get to games that we are going to talk about. Uh, we still got a little over a month before preseason. So, uh, bear with me. We will get there. And college football as well. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow. And uh, as always, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.